Well, with me now in studio is counselling and sports psychologist Martin Skippers, as well as marketing strategist William Sayama. Thank you both for joining us here on ANN 7 Prime. Martin, yes. first of all to you, the IPL says that Oscar has done a great deal for the Paralympic movement, that he's been an inspiration for millions, that he'll be allowed to compete in future. What kind of obstacles do you think psychologically he'll now have to overcome for yes. that to happen? Well, look, first of all, I mean, he has done an immense amount for the sport and, and for Paralympians in, in general. Uh, I think the effect of, of him changing the face of, of Paralympic athletics is, is going to be felt for a very long time. I think there are two main challenges or processes, rather, that need to take place if he is going to compete. Obviously, we need to wait and see what, what, what the sentencing is. Of course, is. It's, that's a given. But there's, let me call the first process sort of the nuts and bolts of getting back into athletics. He's an elite athlete, and you know one needs a team, a management team. You, know, you need uh, you need media experts, you need coaches, you need managers. It's just too much to manage on your own, and then train and compete at that level. He needs to be able to focus purely, purely, 100% on on his athletics and his training. If there is a sentence and he wants to compete and he's allowed to compete, there has to be leniency also. Now, I'm not sure, you know, given the comments on social media, um, you know, opinion's going to be divided once again, and I think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of conflict in, in that regard. So the practical obstacles are enormous. The other process that, that I refer to then is the psychological issues, the emotional issues, and so on. What emotions is experiencing, apart from relief, you know, um, remorse, guilt, conscience, that's energy, that's emotional energy. There isn't place for that in order to compete at the highest level once again. And obviously what he's experienced is what we call a life event. Uh, it's an event that comes around sort of once in a lifetime. So he's a changed man. How has that impacted on him? Does he even have the drive to get back to that level of competition? And then, of course, on top of that is, you know, is he going to be eligible for, for selection, you know, the powers that be, are they going to select him even if he does, does meet the criteria? So it's a very complex road. It is very complex, isn't it? And we've seen him go through highs and lows really throughout this court case, falling yes. apart, weeping, vomiting yes. at times, very yes. emotional. Certainly yesterday there appeared to be something close to a breakdown. Yeah, absolutely, yes, absolutely. And, you know, to get through the emotional fallout, you know, he's been living sort of under the sword for the, last, for, the, for the last 18 months or so. So before you can even start to recover emotionally, he has to process the verdict, there's still the sentencing to come. So, you know, at this point in time, he can't even think about competing and getting back into training whilst it's still unfinished. Because this is really almost survival mode, isn't it? Absolutely, without a doubt. There is, I mean, he's one step closer to, um, to, to ending the survival, if I could put it that way. Mm. You know, he's one step closer. There's still the sentencing, uh, you know, so the, the, the murder issue is out of the way now. We know it's culpable homicide, uh, but what is the sentence that's going to be handed down? So that is the next obstacle, if you like, for, for him to negotiate. And what that decision is, is really going to define to a large extent or, or play a major role in terms of the decision he makes about his athletics future. William, we've just spoken about his athletic future, whether there is one or not, obviously much to overcome before that can even be considered. But let's talk a little bit about Oscar the brand at this point. We've seen so many celebrities fall from grace and they manage to revive their brands. It actually seems to work out in quite positive for him. We've seen the huge international response to the Oscar Pistorius trial. How do you think his brand will, will evolve from this point? Well, in my mind, Oscar must try and kind of trace back what really made him to become the brand that we've come to know him to be. Because when you think of it, Oscar's brand has um, been about being able to succeed against all odds. And if he understands that core and can take it forward, he should be able to reinvent himself in some ways. We must remember that athletics, as in track athletics itself, it's a fairly short career. So surely he's now 27, about to be 28 uh, in November. He must be thinking about the, the after track uh, uh, kind of career prospect. And uh, one of the, the possibilities for him is to actually find a different career path altogether. And if he 
taps into the attributes that made him to become the successful brand that he's become now, he should still be able, uh, to some extent anyway, to reinvent himself in a different career path. So it's actually, he'll, he'll continue to evolve and he'll continue to, to survive and, and possibly thrive through all of this. Who knows how psychologically he'll develop, uh, which is quite sad. And the flip side, that a young woman has lost her life True. as a result of this whole episode. Obviously, yeah. that, uh, that is the unfortunate part. And it, it will forever be an albatross around his neck. Um, but the unfortunate reality of life is he's got to move on. Um, it, he can't change the, 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 the history, but he can learn a lot from him. We know that one of his biggest problems is anger management. If he can deal with that side and at the same time be able to leverage the strengths that uh, has made him to become the successful brand that he has become, he should be fine in my mind. Martin, the public opinion around yes. this, do you, how does that affect somebody like Oscar Pistorius? He's now really become uh, internationally renowned because of yes. this court case. Everyone has an opinion. Social media is flooded with it. Uh, newspaper articles like we've never seen before. Yes. How does he deal with that public opinion? Well, I think the first thing when one looks at public opinion is you've got to gauge the fall first. So any person that, that uh, scales such awesome heights, but not only awesome heights, but against such odds, as, as, as William said, you get placed on a pedestal. Fairly, unfairly, that's what the public does. So given the, 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 the course of tragic events, the fall, when you fall off that pedestal, is huge. So that mm -hmm. effect is, is absolutely enormous. In terms of his uh, uh, um, coping with public opinion at this point in time, you mentioned a moment ago survival mode. And I don't think at this stage he really cares what public opinion is at this point in time uh, because he's not out of the woods yet. It's still very much about, you know, what is, what is the, the, the sentencing going to be? You know, as I say, I've negotiated a couple of, 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 mine, of landmines. Um, so at this point he's still too much in the center and in the firing line, excuse that, but uh, you know, to really worry about public opinion. As I say, the, the pressure has lifted slightly, but there's, I wouldn't think there would be any focus now in terms of, of competing and so on. It's focusing right, 13th to the 16th of October, I think it is, mm. the, the, the sentencing. That would be his focus now. I'm mm. sure, and uh, anyone in that circumstance, of course, would feel exactly the same way. Gentlemen, thank you so much for thank sharing you. your expertise with us here on ANN7 Prime. Thank Pleasure. you for that. Thank you. That was counselling and sports psychologist Martin Skippers and marketing strategist William Siyama.